the, this uh, episode of Cooking with Graham, we're going to do a really, really quick um, homemade stuffing. So you need two pieces of bread for each person, and there's me and Martin, so one for me, one for Martin, and then one extra. What you need to do is some kind of blitzer, blendery type thing. Uh, break up all the bread into it as fine as you can. And when you've done that, this is the most time consuming bit. Um, you want to blitz it so it's really like breadcrumbs, okay? Uh, if you can, try and use half stale bread. If it's harder, it's a lot easier to break up. Whereas this being soft, it kind of goes a bit doughy. So if your bread is a bit, well, if it's fresh out of the bag or out of the fridge or anything, what you can do is you can get it out of the bag a few hours before. If you plan ahead, it makes it a little bit drier then. Okay. And now that that's all done, going to blitz it for a couple of minutes in the food processor type thing until it's all really nice fine crumbs. Okay, so now that it's blitzed, put it in the food processor mixing thing. Okay. Now you need a teaspoon each of thyme, sage and parsley. Tablespoon, not a teaspoon. Keep getting that wrong. Just chuck them in. Okay, so we pop that on to start mixing a bit, just really low. Then you need some softened, like room temperature softened butter. Now for this one to do two people, but this will do a lot more than two people realistically. Um, I'm using around about what, 175 grams of butter and just rub it in. Keep going a little bit at a time. If you cut up into cubes, it's a lot easier just to get in. And just keep doing this until it's all mixed together. So when it's all joined together, it should make a nice, easy, sticky, gooey ball. You can give it a taste. There's nothing in it that would hurt you anyway, because it's not that you know it's not cooked. Um, and if you've got a more preference to one of the herbs or something, then you could chuck some more in of that. So yeah, it should make a nice squidgy stuffing ball. So we put this in a in a dish, and you can just stick it in into the dish. You know, like with everything that we do, you don't have to be that precise about it. You don't have to grease this because of the butter that's already in it. You don't have to worry. Now, up to you whether you do it thin or thick. If you do it thin, it'll be crispier. If you do it thicker, it'll be a bit more gooey. So we normally have a little bit that's thinner than the rest, so you get different textures. And then into the oven around about 200, yeah, about 200 degrees for about 15 minutes until it's all nicely warm through. All right, so the stuffing's been in for about 15 minutes. And there we go. Slightly brown on top. Do it to your liking. If you want it a bit crispier than that, put it in for an extra couple of minutes. All right, and there you go. Easy homemade stuffing.